there and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vidhi and I like talking about all things beauty. So today I'm going to be walking you through uh, some of my absolute favorite picks for an easy makeup look. Now these are not your typical hard hitting, full coverage, um, long lasting makeup products. These are meant to be easy. So they're meant to be very beginner friendly, very easy to use and uh, perfect for an everyday no makeup makeup or minimal makeup look, especially perfect uh, for an office look because that's typically where I wear most of these products. It also might be worth mentioning that these are all the products that I have on my face today. So if you like this look, you might want to keep on watching. Now I've just picked one product in every category. Uh, while there can be many more and there are likely many more even in my list, uh, I just wanted to keep this video fairly streamlined in case you were looking for a new option. Having said that, I'm more than happy to chat about other products in the comments. So let me know if you all have questions or if you need any options or alternatives for any of these. With that, let's actually get into some of the products. So first up, I have the Merit Minimalist Foundation Stick. Uh, I believe this is the only foundation uh, that Merit has in their collection and I've actually really, really been enjoying it. I got this uh, during their Christmas uh, or pre-Christmas sale and I've had a chance to use it quite a bit since then. The best way to describe it is the way my friend Clancy describes it. Uh, she describes it as a more refined, more mature version of the Glossier Stretch Concealer. And I couldn't agree more. Uh, this is a stick foundation, but even though it's a stick foundation, it's actually super easy to blend. It has medium buildable coverage. So that gives you the opportunity to sort of build up the coverage in areas that you like or in areas that you need. I find that this actually lasts very well through the day. That's likely because it has a more natural matte finish. Now I have oily combination skin and because of that, I almost prefer a little bit foundations that are natural matte finish because they tend to last better on my skin and that's the reason why I probably reach for this a little bit more. This also helps smoothen out some of the pores in my skin or some of the texture on my skin. So I quite enjoy that as well. Having said that, I will add here that if you have dry skin, um, you might want to make sure that your skin is well prepped before using this uh, because even on my skin, sometimes it tends to cling to dry patches or get into the fine lines. But otherwise, all in all, an excellent product. Another foundation that's actually very similar to this uh, is the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation, if you've ever tried that. So if Merit, for example, is not accessible where you live, maybe check out the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. I'll also uh, try to tell you wherever possible the brushes that I like to use. Uh, so with the Merit Foundation, I actually like to use the Real Techniques uh, 200 brush. I find that this uh, is a great foundation brush and makes it uh, very, very easy to get. Right. Next, I have a bronzer. I have the Say Beauty Sun Melt uh, Cream Bronzer in medium bronze. This bronzer sort of covers both territories for me. That is, it covers sort of a bronzer territory as well as a contour territory because uh, this particular shade is a nice neutral shade that can work both ways. I find that it's super easy to blend uh, and very, very beginner friendly. It's not too pigmented, so it's actually hard uh, to build it up. And that's probably what I like about it because that makes it all the more easy to use in the morning when you're in a hurry. This is also very creamy and that's probably what makes it so easy to blend. Having said all of that, that also means that it does not last through the day and it does fade a little bit but I don't quite mind that because it fades well through the day. It doesn't get patchy or it doesn't get uneven, so it doesn't bother me as much. With the Say bronzer, I like to use uh, this brush. I think this is a very, very old Kabuki brush from e.l.f. I'll try to link something that's similar down in the description, but basically it's just a very, very dense uh, brush that makes it easy to put the bronzer on in a targeted area. Next, I have a blush. I have the Rose Ink uh, Lip and Cheek color. Now, even though this is a lip and cheek color, I only really use it as a blush. 
this is the shade in heliotrope and you'll see in the cutaways uh, that this is an absolutely stunning peachy pink shade um, that just blends so so easily onto the skin and it's not like a pop of color it's a very subtle blush uh, that would work well with most looks and with most skin tones although i do think that this will show up uh, more easily on a lighter skin tone it might be a little bit harder to actually show up on a darker skin tone but i know that rose ink has some lovely shades in the collection that would look amazing on darker skin tones personally i've tried the shade azalea as well that's a more rich berry tone and i think that would look absolutely stunning on darker skin tones i don't have that right now unfortunately because i gave it to a friend who loved it so much um so i only have the shade heliotrope with me i'll also add that uh, this has a little bit just a little bit of subtle shimmer running through it and nothing too obvious just a little bit of a glow uh, that comes across on the skin uh, which is actually perfect if you don't want to reach for another additional product like a highlighter uh, this actually functions really well as a two-in-one because it has that lovely glow I like to use this with the rose ink uh, stipple brush in number two, but really any stipple brush will do. I know e.l.f. makes some really good ones and I personally uh, use them quite a bit. Then I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Now this is an absolutely viral product for all the right reasons. Now full disclosure, I haven't tried its original counterpart. That's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I've only tried this one and I absolutely love this. I use it uh, as a highlighter almost just on the high points of my skin but I know that a lot of people actually prefer using this as a primer as a glowy primer all over their skin and uh, it looks absolutely stunning for me personally because I have some texture in my skin I find that if I use this in the wrong spots it can actually enhance that texture but if I use this just on the high points that's on my cheekbones and maybe a little bit on my nose, it has uh, an absolutely stunning glow and it catches the light in all the right ways. The best part about this is that while it does have some shimmer in it, it doesn't uh, have large glitter particles. So it doesn't look very obviously like glitter on your skin. It just looks like a nice subtle sheen and I think that's what I love most about it. Oftentimes I will also use this before my foundation or before my base uh, just to have it peek through a little bit uh, for that glow. And this one I just like to use with my fingers and tap it in. Then I have an eyeshadow. So now for me, uh, when I look for an eyeshadow for an everyday look, usually I'm gravitating towards something in the warm brown territory. Just because I like to have a little bit of a wash of color on my eyelids to cover up any of the the veins that can show through sometimes. And for that, I've actually been loving uh, the Merit eyeshadow. And this is the one in mid-century that actually fits the bill even for the shade that I'm looking for. This is a cream to powder finish eyeshadow. So I find that that makes it really, really easy to blend. But I will back up a little bit and say that initially when I tried it, I was a little bit disappointed because when you see this product first, initially you think that it's a cream shadow and that makes you think that it will be quite heavily pigmented. But it's actually quite to the contrary of that. It's very, very lightly pigmented and it does take at least four or five uh, goes to build it up, even to see a wash of color. But once I sort of got over that disappointment and actually started using it, um, I realized that I truly enjoy using it because it looks so subtle and lovely on uh, the eyelids. Again, it looks like just a wash of color and it's actually very difficult to overdo it. Um, and so it's the perfect beginner friendly eyeshadow 
but maybe not an eye shadow to go for if you're looking for uh, something that actually packs in the pigment another thing i really like about this eye shadow is that i have oily eyelids and this is one of the only eye shadows that does not crease on my lids i like to use this with the real techniques 300 deluxe crease brush Another thing I will add is that I'm not a big fan of the packaging. Initially, I thought that this uh, might be glass packaging, but turns out this is actually plastic packaging. And also the lid can be a little bit clunky sometimes. It gets stuck while opening it. So not the best packaging, but definitely a great product. Uh, next, I have a powder. Um, I have the No Sebum Mineral Powder by Innisfree. Now, while the Merit Beauty Foundation Stick doesn't really require to be set per se, I did want to have a powder option available for you guys in case you all were looking for something. This for me is the perfect everyday powder. Now, when I look for a powder for my everyday use, typically what I'm looking for is something that can just mattify my T-zone and minimize the look of pores. And this ticks both of those boxes for me. I'm not necessarily looking for something that elongates the wear of my makeup. So I can't really comment on how this would perform in that area. But definitely if you're looking for something that blurs and mattifies your skin, this is a nice affordable option. I like to use this in a very targeted uh, way. I like to use it only in specific areas of my face. And that's why I like to go in with a small brush. Uh, this is the Real Techniques uh, setting brush. And this is fairly small in size. Uh, and this small size actually allows me to actually just go into specific areas and just uh, set them. And then the rest of my skin can look nice and glowy. Next, I have the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I've gone through countless tubes of this mascara and I'm confident that I'm going to go through many many more when I'm looking for a mascara I'm looking for something that's more lengthening than volumizing and I find that this truly ticks that box for me I also find that this is quite easy to remove at the end of the day I do double cleanse in the evening and so I find that this uh, comes off very very easily without any kind of pulling or tugging that's another plus point I guess but yeah, if you're looking for something that's lengthening, uh, this is a great option. But if you're looking for something that's volumizing, probably not the one for you. Now, finally, truth be told, I don't reach for a lipstick uh, every day. Uh, while I own a number of gorgeous lipsticks and I absolutely love them, I just don't reach for them. On a daily basis, I personally just reach for a tinted lip balm more often than not. And for that, I absolutely love the Bobbi Brown lip tints. I have the shades Bare Punch and Bare Raspberry. These are just a little bit of a wash of color on the lips with a lot of moisture. And that's the perfect combination I'm looking for. Absolutely, definitely not something long lasting. They'll fade in a matter of uh, maybe an hour or two, but I'm okay with that. I quite uh, enjoy something that uh, fades so naturally through the day. So that's my preference. But yeah, with that, that sort of wraps up my picks for an easy everyday look. I hope you found this video to be helpful and uh, let me know if maybe you wanted me to do a drugstore version of this because I realized that most of these picks are high end and a little bit more on the expensive side. But I feel pretty confident that I would be able to do even a drugstore version. So yeah, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care. Bye bye.